Okay, everyone, we're going to do a little quick tutorial here on how to set up your controls for Sega Model 2. Uh, Sega Model 2 is an emulator that works on its own. Uh, you will have to go to individually each game to configure your controls. Um, and you will also have to utilize Joy to Key with it, too. Um, so first things first, you're going to go to your folder where your Sega Model 2 is located. Mine is on my portable drive located in my launch box folder under emulators and then we're down here at Sega Model 2 and we are using my 32 inch mod here too so enter your folder for Sega Model 2 and then you got to go to the emulator exe now what you're going to do in here is you're going to have to load a game where's my mouse there we go Gonna have to load a game you're gonna have to do this individually so go to emulator go to emulator load rom and load your first game in this case we'll do daytona usa let it load up so she's starting to load now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the escape button on your keyboard and you're gonna drop it down here just like this okay now you're going to go up to game, drop down game, configure controls. Now the way racing games work on Sega Model 2 is the up button or the up function is your gas and the down is your brake. So if you're using arcade controls, the best way to do this is to uncheck this, uncheck this, and uncheck this. Now you're gonna use you're gonna double tap this and you're gonna hit your A button. I do A B, and then you do B. And this is gonna be left and right. Where's my arrow pad? Do I have an arrow pad? I'm using one of these. <laughs> it's my first time using it too. So let's see if this works. That works. And right. So now you have set all those functions. And then for these, for your shifter, your VR buttons, anything like that, you can uh, set whatever you want. Your coin button, I do use that as enter. So actually, my, I'm sorry, my start button. Start button, I use as enter. Coin button, I usually use that as shift. Where's my shift button over here? There it is. Coin will be shift. So, and I do that globally over all of my games. I don't mess with the view buttons because I don't really care about the view buttons, but you can set those for however buttons you want. And then simply close this out. It says insert coins, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to close this, and then we're going to go over to Joy to Key. Joy to Key is also on my drive. We're going to open up Joy to Key. Should already have a path set for this, and I do. I already have Sega Model 2 set in here for this. Well, where'd it go? Joy to Key. There we go. So, uh, let me make sure we have buttons set here. So, stick left. Left, right, see how it highlights yellow? That's how that works. And then we have to have um, our buttons also set. Bear with me a second here. Let's get rid of all these POV things. There we go. So then we have button A, which we set as up. Button B we set as down, which is gonna be your gas. So let's drop that down. Let's go back to the emulator. We'll do a small demonstration just to show it works. Sega Model 2, emulator EXE, load the ROM, double tap. Now we're lit, we're live. So, coin button. Oh, you know what? I didn't double check the coin button. Let's double check the coin button and enjoy the key. 
Joy to Key is always down, going to be down there in the background. I do apologize again if I'm a little shaky here. So, button number nine. It's going to be the shift button. Hit OK. Let's just make sure that is lighting up as coin. It is. Oops. Oh, I double tapped it as enter. That'll be... Shift. Sorry for the little mistake there. And then enter. I still gotta work the same. Let's just drop that down. Let's go back over here. Let's make this full screen. We're gonna insert our coins. We're gonna hit the gas button, which is my A button. You gotta hold it in. Left and right works. Holding the gas button. Now watch, we'll let the speed drop down. I'll hit the accelerator, which is my A button, and you'll see that it'll go up. So this is racing game. So we're dropping down, gas button. Going up. And my arcade stick is my control. And that's how you set controls for Sega Model 2. It's that easy. Like I said, you have to go per game. So another example would be, let's go back into the emulator. Let's go to load ROM. Let's go to Dynamite Cop. Again, we're gonna press escape. Well, we're gonna let it load first. Then we're gonna press escape. We're gonna go over to our game, configure controls. Now we have to set these. So player one up, double tap it, press your up key. Double tap it again, press your down key. Player one left, double tap, press left. Double tap, press right. Player one, button one is gonna be A. Player two button, player one button two is gonna be B. Button one is gonna be X. Button four is gonna be Y. Start is gonna be enter. Coin is gonna be shift. Then you're all set. Let's go back here. You see the credits are loading up. Press the start button. Left and right works. My heater is now kicking on. Sorry for the background noise. We'll do a little demonstration. Very brief. Punching works. Kicking works. Up down works. Oop, oop, oop. Let me kick you. There you go. And that's how you set your controls for Sega Model 2. You have to do this per game. Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Appreciate you guys so much. Hope the video helped. Sorry for the little shakiness again, but you guys got the point of everything.